A group of thieves use a stolen SUV to smash into a West Side business and steal merchandise. And the whole thing was caught on camera. Angela Ingram is here with a surveillance video and an interview you'll see only on Local 12 News. What a wild ride, Angela. Absolutely, Paula. And the SUV that was used was stolen a month ago. The owner doesn't know who took the Cadillac, but he's actually seen someone joyriding around the city in his family's vehicle. Today, he found out three people used it to commit another crime. Caught on camera, an SUV smashes through a storefront. Two men hop out and they have an accomplice. Uh, it appears to be three suspects. It happened at the Foot Action Shoe Store at Western Hills Plaza on Glenway Avenue and the thieves have a target. Approximately six to seven pairs of shoes were taken. So you're talking about, you know, a few hundred dollars worth of shoes probably that were stolen versus all this damage that was done. Daylight shows the mess it caused, not only to the store, but also to a neighboring store. You can also see how the impact totaled the Cadillac Escalade. Police towed it as evidence, and the owner found out this morning. All the, the um, screenshots that people were sending me were, were asking, um, is this your truck in foot action? Police say someone stole Aaron Jeter's SUV from in front of his Westwood home about a month ago. Jeter's actually seen them joyriding his SUV that he bought with his hard earned money around town. Once in Avondale and we made eye contact and they spun around in the middle of the street and went the wrong way down Reading Road. And then one morning, about 6.30 in the morning, I saw him driving down Corain Avenue. He called police, but each time they got away. I can't believe that someone's actually still driving around in my vehicle around Cincinnati like they paid for it. Because I feel violated. I feel like someone has stepped into my personal space and, and took something from me. I feel like there's no rest. I'm not safe. My family's not safe. Jeter's family is now struggling to manage without the SUV. He's hoping between the damage to the stores and his car, someone will report what they know. We just have to stand up as a, as, as a people and a culture and say when something's wrong. Jeter's windows on his SUV are tinted, so the two times he saw his Cadillac, he couldn't make out exactly who was inside of it. It's not just a financial loss for a Jeter, it's the principle of the issue. He had a lot of personal items, some from his children, in that SUV. Paula, back to you. Mm, thank you, Angela. If you have information that can help police, call our partners at Crime Stoppers. The number is 352-3040. Remember, you don't have to leave your name to get cash. Hey,